Welcome everyone to um, Season 2, Episode 4 of the Rearview Safety Webinar Series. Uh, my name is James. Today's webinar is going to be on some news and updates um, about Rearview Safety in general, um, some new products, some cool stuff that we have going on. As usual, feel free to uh, contribute, ask questions, use the chat on the left side of the um, screen here to comment or question. There's a questions and answers kind of option on the top of the screen. Probably best not to use that just because I won't necessarily see it during the webinar. So if you have questions or comments, use the chat on the left of the screen. Um, so just before we begin, is everyone able to hear me okay? You can use the chat just to uh, let me know. If everyone's audio is working. If everyone's able to see the, uh, the uh, screen, the webinar series, first slide. All right, looks like we're in business. All right, awesome. So let's get right into it. Okay, just to start, we have a couple of new hires. Um, our team is growing. We've kind of been consistently growing for the past couple of years. Um, just wanted to mention some new hires that we um, brought on recently. Uh, we have top two here, Nick and Mike Weinberg. They're actually brothers, and they're joining the sales team. And on the bottom there, Amanda, Alex, and David, our new customer service reps that are joining the customer service team. Um, they finished training about uh, a couple weeks ago already, so you may actually be familiar with them. You may actually have dealt with them already. Uh, so make sure to you know help welcome them to the team if you do. Um, next on the agenda, I want to speak about the um, multiplexer to power harness. Um, another thing that you some of you may be familiar with already, but um, we are basically transitioning all of our wired camera systems to um, come with a power harness instead of a multiplexer. So I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with the multiplexer. You see that on the right of the screen there. And that traditionally was what um, kind of connected all the components in our wired systems. So all the you, you see the three ports there where the cameras would connect to, and then the cable with the monitor would connect to, and then that would connect to power to the fuse box in the vehicle. Um, and that's how our wired systems you know, w would always work. We're actually transitioning and we're going to a power harness for all of our wired systems. So uh, it's going to be the same features and functions. It's just going to be in a power harness instead of like a multiplexer box. Um, and this is actually based on customer requests. So we had a bunch of customers throughout the years that were having a little bit of trouble with the, you know, mounting the, power, the, the multiplexer. So we're going to be transitioning to have everything come with a power harness instead of the multiplexer. Um, uh, like I said, so it's it's a bit of an easier installation. The multiplexer box, you kind of have to find a place to mount it. It takes up a little bit of room. The power harness, it's kind of just cabling, and you're already running cabling through the vehicle, so um, it's usually a bit of an easier install. Like I mentioned, though, it does have the same features. So it has, you know, the three ports for the cameras, or if it's a quad view system, it'll have the four ports. And it has all the triggers and, you know, monitor connection, power connection, everything is the same. We also um, did have uh, like um, the on the multiplexer there was a switch on the back which would control the normal to mirror image on on cameras. That feature is actually built into the monitors now. So if you want to switch between a mirror image and a normal image for the cameras, you could do that from the monitor menu itself. Um, also, the power is going to be the same. So the the multiplexers were able to handle 12 to 24 volts. It's going to be the same kind of um, power that's able to be handed now with the power harnesses as well. Uh, so just to demonstrate quickly, I'm just going to go to our website quickly and just show you what I mean. So all of our mirrored um, camera systems, which are our 619s, um, which is basically what we use for a lot of our cargo van systems, so the Sprinter camera system and the, you know, Nissan MV, Chevy Express, all these systems that came with the seven-inch replacement mirror display. Those already are coming with the power harness. So if you see, we changed the model numbers to dash NM. Um, so all those dash NM model numbers that you see actually means that the system is now coming with a power harness instead of a multiplexer. Um, so you'll see all those already actually transitioned. So they're already with the new power harness. 
We will be doing the same thing for all our wired systems. If we go back to the first page here and look at our regular 7-inch self-standing uh, monitor, they will eventually also be coming with a power harness instead of a multiplexer, but um, it's still in the process. So we have the 613-NM, um, but we also have the regular 613, and then eventually all of these will be coming with a, a power harness as well. Um, so just wanted to go through that, clarify, make sure everyone understood what was happening there. Let's go back into our PowerPoint here. Uh, so before I move on, any questions on that so far? Anyone have any any thoughts or questions? Can I still, Ralph asks, can I still buy a multiplexer? Um, yeah. So we're gonna have we're gonna have the the six one three the seven seven zero six one three system is always gonna come. We're always gonna offer that with a multiplexer option. So if you want a multiplexer for some reason, then you definitely can still still purchase that. All right, moving right along. Uh, one second. Mobile Awareness. Um, so Mobile Awareness is a company pretty similar to Review Safety, which manufacture backup camera systems and sensor systems, um, and they're actually now part of the Review Safety brand. So Review Safety has acquired the the customer base and the product for Mobile Awareness, and it's all going to be offered under the same Review Safety brand. Um, practical difference is that we have a couple new products, a couple new exciting products um, that were added to our product line. I'll speak about one of them now, um, and that is a new wireless sensor system. So we actually used to have a wireless sensor system, uh, was discontinued about a year or so ago. So this actually fits perfectly into our product line, and it's a really cool system. Um, we'll go over it quickly now. Uh, wireless means that the ECU, which is where the sensors connect to in the back of the vehicle, and the LCD module, which displays you know, the, the visual and audio, audio alerts from the sensors, they connect wirelessly. So great for trailers, fifth wheels, or even any large vehicle where it's difficult to run cabling through the length of the vehicle. Um, kind of regular sensor functions, it has four sensors. Um, obviously, they're waterproof. And the cabling and the ECU, in this case, is also waterproof. So you can actually mount the cabling, sorry, mount the sensors in the bumper cabling and the ECU can all mount underneath um, the vehicle, which makes it you know, really convenient. It's completely waterproof. It's a really big kind of hefty um, uh, commercial grade ECU that the, the, the sensors connect to. The LCD module, as usual, sits on the dash. It gives you visual, which is what we call passive, and oral, which is what we call active alarms. Um, visual passive meaning that um, it only kind of alerts you if you're looking at it. And active alarms, which is what we call audio alarms or audible alarms, is means it'll alert you, it'll warn you of an object behind you even if you're not kind of paying attention, even if you're not looking at the display. So it has both those types of alarms. Um, and then the last two features here are really cool. Stop line adjustment is where you're able to adjust basically the, um, the, the rearmost part of the vehicle, so where you want the sensors to kind of start sensing from. We'll get into it in more detail in just a second. And then it also comes with two mounting options, which we'll take a look at right now. Um, so if you see here, we have the two mounting options. On the top there is the regular mount. And if you look on the right, the top right, they mount either like regular sensors where you drill a hole in the bumper and then kind of fill it with the, the sensor, so it's like a flush mount. Additionally, they can mount um, with those little brackets kind of hanging underneath the bumper or underneath kind of anything. The second mounting option is what we call the SE mount, um, and this is where you mount the sensors into the, these um, black rubber kind of boxes, and then you drill those into the rear of the vehicle. Uh, the advantage here is that if you have a vehicle where it's you know really difficult to either drill holes, those big holes to, to fit the sensors in, or you can't mount them kind of hanging off a of bumper, um, you'll be able to still mount the sensors um, just with these blocks. So obviously the holes for these are going to be much smaller. You just need to drill these little kind of screw holes to mount these blocks in, and then the sensors mount, you know, perfectly into these rubber mounts. They're really heavy-duty um, rubber. They can kind of take a beating. The sensors, like, um, 
indented in them so it won't get damaged, you know, even if you hit something behind you. Really kind of cool mounting option. allows you to mount them also in any scenario. Uh, so that's one really cool feature of these wireless sensors. And the other thing is the stop line adjustment, which is what you can call maybe like a, a virtual bumper. Um, so this is where, if you see in the image there, let's say you have a, a log truck where the, the sensors are mounted on the bumper, but then you might have a log or a equipment, a ladder, something kind of protruding out the rear of the vehicle further than the bumper. So in that case, uh, it's possible that once the sensors start picking up the... Um, uh, the object, you'll have already hit it with that protrusion. So what you could do is you can set that the um, the sensors will, so to speak, start sensing from, let's say, a foot or so away outside the out of the rear of the vehicle, out of the rear bumper, let's say. And that way, you'll know the like true distance to obstacles behind the, the furthest protrusion of the vehicle. Uh, yeah, so that's basically the uh, the new system from Mobile Awareness that's now part of the Rivi Safety product line. Um, really cool new wireless sensor system. Uh, let me guys, let, let me know if you guys have any questions or comments on that before we move along. Um, that's actually available already on our website. The model number is the RVS-125. Okay, moving right along here, we have another new addition to our product line is a really cool wireless transmitter, which we call it the SimpleSight wireless transmitter. What this allows you to do is, uh, as I'm sure most of you are aware, we, had a, we introduced a new line of wireless camera systems called the SimpleSight series about a year or so ago. Um, they came with um, two sorts of cameras, pretty similar, like commercial grade, um, sort of large cameras. Um, this new transmitter allows you, is gonna allow you to connect any one of our CMOS cameras to any one of the SimpleSight wireless monitors. Um, so let's say you like the wireless systems, you like the concept, the camera was maybe a little too large for your vehicle, or you just didn't, see, you, that, that camera didn't fit your vehicle for some reason. What you could do now is take any one of our CMOS cameras um, so most of our kind of compact, smaller cameras are CMOS. Any one of those cameras, you can connect, as you see in the image here, it's just a five-pin connection. You can just connect the um, camera right to the, the transmitter, and that would allow you to wirelessly connect any one of those cameras to the SimpleSight monitors. So we have a five-inch and a seven-inch SimpleSight monitor. You can use any one of those. Um, the model numbers there are the 15WM, 25WM, 35WM. And, yeah, so it's a really cool, kind of very versatile new transmitter. It's also waterproof. Really cool um, added feature. That means, again, similar to the wireless sensors, you can mount basically the whole thing at the rear of your vehicle outside. The camera is mounted outside. You can run all the cabling outside, mount the transmitter, you know, underneath your vehicle. Um, the only thing you will need to go inside for is power, but still really easy install. You also don't need to run cabling through your vehicle, and you'll have basically any camera wirelessly connected to the monitor at the front of the vehicle. Um, it also comes with instant pair, which means that you don't need to um, get out of your cab to pair, let's say, a, a truck and a trailer, or basically the camera to the monitor. So, for example, if you have um, you know, a fleet of vehicles, you have a bunch of trucks and a bunch of trailers, you can mount the, any one of our cameras, or any one of our CMOS cameras, to this wireless transmitter at the rear of, you, of all your trailers and then mount any one of the simple side monitors in your cab and then you could just back up your, your truck to your trailer, put the monitor into pair mode, put power to the trailer and your system will automatically pair. So another really cool feature with this. Um, I'm just gonna pop over to the website again for a second. Just to make sure, I'll just show you what I mean by CMOS cameras. Uh, so if you go to our website and go to the compact camera section, all of these cameras are going to be CMOS cameras. So MV1 camera, which is very popular, uh, 611, 611IR, all these will be CMOS cameras that you'll be able to connect to this transmitter to basically make wireless. Um, 
and that'll allow you to connect it, you know, to these monitors here, to the to the five inch monitor and to the seven inch monitor that are wireless. Whoops, I wasn't sharing my screen. One second. Um, just go back over that one more time. <laughs> you go into products and you go into um, backup cameras. Compact backup cameras, this is what I'm talking about. These were the ones that are, basically all these are CMOS. You'll be able to connect all of these to the, um, to the uh, simple site monitors, which is right over here, these monitors here. 5 inch and the 7 inch, these wireless monitors. Back to our PowerPoint. All right, any questions so far? Any questions on anything that we spoke about as of yet? Moving right along here then. Um, obvious systems to rear view safety. So um, a lot of you may be aware already that we have, we've been operating under two kind of brands. We have the Avia Systems and then the Rearview Safety brand. Uh, by the end of this year, we're going to actually be merging those two together. Everything's going to be merged under the same Rearview Safety brand. This really mainly applies to dealers, um, but a lot of you may be familiar with it. So the Avia Systems website and brand in general is going to be phased out by the end of this year. So by 2019, everything will be under rearviewsafety.com. Um, Model numbers will be the same, the website will be the same, it'll just be a lot easier for kind of everyone going forward. Um, and dealers will be able to order directly from Review Safety, will have, you know, logins that you can, do, that you'll have for Review Safety itself in order to get the dealer pricing and it'll kind of streamline the, the whole system. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you, you'll, you'll be getting a bit more information about this as the year progresses. Um, Avia Systems website will kind of automatically just redirect to Rivy Safety, and going forward, everything's going to be under the Rivy Safety brand. Um, so just wanted to kind of introduce that, make sure everyone's aware of what's going to happen. And like I said, you'll, there'll, there'll be more information coming for that. And then lastly, on our list, we have the Great American Trucking Show, which is coming up on uh, the end of August in Dallas, Texas. We have a question here. Sorry, one second. Depending on the vehicle, Pierre asked, depending on the vehicle, on average, how long to install a brilliant backseat reminder system? Um, let me come back to that question in just a second, um, but I'll definitely, I'll definitely answer it. But just with the, the Great American Tracking Show, just wanted to mention that we will be there at booth 2041. Um, so make sure if you're in the area to come by and visit us. That's going to be at the end of August in Dallas, Texas. So we'll obviously be there showing all the new safety products that we have with regards to um, the trucking industry. And yeah, make sure to, to come by. Back to the question, on average, how long does it take to install a brilliant backseat reminder system? Uh, it shouldn't be too long. It's probably about a two hour installation. Um, there's really just the button that you need to install in the, in the rear of the, in the backseat. Sorry, let me start, let me just, Go back a little bit. The Brilliant Backseat System, for those who don't know, is a um, basically a reminding system where it, al it alerts you if you leave something in the backseat of a vehicle. So really designed to make sure that you don't forget, let's say, children or, or pets or even groceries in the backseat. Um, and basically it's just like a button that installs in the inside the backseat of a, of a vehicle. And that way when you, you know, finish drive, turn off the vehicle, you have to open the back door and actually hit that button for the alarm to go off. So it's about a two-hour install. Really, you just need to install that button and then tap into the, the door wiring. It's not, it's not, too, not too intense. Um, anyhow, that is basically the end of, the, of today's webinar. Um, just a couple of general updates. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. It could be questions about what we spoke about or even any other question that you might have on river safety products, etc. Um, I'll be here for the next couple of minutes. I'll be happy to answer any question.
Uh, question here: Will prices change with the new China tariffs? Um, no. So it, 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 we're not gonna, we're not going to change the pricing at all. Our pricing will remain the same as it always has been. Uh, so any other questions, let me know. And thank you all for joining. As usual, our webinar, next webinar will be in two months from now. And we'll definitely let you know when it is happening. I'll be here for just another minute or two if you have any more questions. And thank you. Question here about the multiplex and harness. Will it be available to purchase on its own or only supplied in kit form? You will still be able to purchase the multiplexer on its own, at least for the next you know, foreseeable future. Because um, like I mentioned, we will always be offering kits with it, or the 613 kit with it. So we will still be stocking it for a while, and you, you'd definitely be able to purchase it if you want on its own. Uh, Pierre says, can I get the recording of the presentation? Absolutely. Um, as always, we will send out a recording within the next couple hours. You should be, you should get that today. Okay, I'm going to be signing off. Once again, thank you everyone for joining, and we'll see you next time.